Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we will discuss LIFO liquidation. In the prior session we looked at LIFO reserve. In this session we will focus on LIFO liquidation. It's very important to go back and review why we use LIFO because you are going to see in this session the main reason why we use LIFO it's going to come back and backfire basically. The reason why we use LIFO is to do what? I hope you remember this, is to lower our taxes. You are going to see that in, under certain circumstances, LIFO could come back and bite you. And we're going to see how. Well, let's take a look at LIFO once again. LIFO stands for last and first out. It means the most recent inventory purchased, the last in, are assumed to be to be sold first and what would that do assuming prices are rising and we would always assume that's the norm that prices are rising you are going to have a higher cost of goods sold because recent prices are higher it means your cost of goods sold is higher what is that going to do it's going to yield a lower net income so notice we work this example the average method the FIFO and the LIFO and we notice that cost of goods sold under LIFO is the highest because the highest it's going to reduce the lowest net income because cost of goods sold is the highest you're going to have a lower net income and for tax purposes you're going to have a lower tax income. now all good so far because as a company the reason you're using LIFO is to save taxes and it's serving that purpose but here's what I want you to now to pay attention to I want you to pay attention real quick to something that we did not highlight earlier and that's the inventory figure under LIFO. Notice the inventory figure under LIFO is the lowest. It's not because they have less inventory because the cost of that inventory is old and old inventory has a low cost because cost is rising so the old inventory that you are assuming you still have will have a lower cost and this is where this is gonna come back now and backfire. So bear in mind, everything that I mentioned about LIFO and prices are rising is the opposite if prices are going down. The opposite would happen, the opposite effect. And the same principle also applied to FIFO, but in reverse. So everything that I said about LIFO, you would apply to FIFO in, re in reverse, and it will be true. But again, we're focusing on LIFO. So in this session, we're going to dive into what is LIFO liquidation and how is it going to in quote hurt the company and we have to deal with it let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further I have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com farhat accounting lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses my CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker Roger Wiley Gleam Miles my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So what is LIFO liquidation and when does it happen? Well, LIFO liquidation occurs when older, lower cost inventory is liquidated resulted in higher net income and higher taxes. Remember why we use LIFO? The whole purpose we're using LIFO, remember I told you IFRS believes LIFO is a gimmick, it's not even allowed under international financial reporting standard. The only reason we use it is to have lower taxes. Now, when your inventory is liquidated and you cannot replace your inventory, why you cannot replace your inventory? Because the number of units sold will be greater than the than the number of units purchased. So now you're selling at a faster rate than you are replacing your inventory. Is that possible? Could that happen? Yes, I'm going to show you a real world example. And if that happens, then you're going to distort net income. Why? Because you are going to have a higher net income and a higher tax bill. Let me show you this graph that you have in front of you. This is the price of wheat per bushel. And if you notice this spike here, this is because of the Russian-Ukrainian war. As a result, the price of the wheat went up. So notice, uh, around 2020, the prices were around 515, and at some point it reached it more than doubled in a period of two, two and a half years. 
now it's not only the prices went up the why would the price goes up because you have supply and demand problem because of the Russian Ukrainian war you have less supply therefore what's what's going to happen you cannot replace your inventory so let's assume a company is selling those sweets they might so if, if, if the cost right now is 1200 let's assume it's an extreme situation if you if you if you have to buy them at 1200 you get you're gonna have to sell them at at least 1500 to make a profit now if you cannot replace your inventory and now what you have to do and you have old inventory doesn't have to be old actual old but now you have to do is you have to match the sale with old cost you are going to have a higher profit and as a result you could have a higher tax bill why because you're selling the inventory the inventory price is going up and your selling price will go up if you have to replace something and the cost of that something going up you are going to raise your prices but that's no problem with LIFO because you are matching La recent cost with recent sale but if you don't have if you if you liquidated all your recent purchases now you have to go back to old layers of inventory and start to liquidate so let me show you in an example how this works let's assume again you can say weed bush uh, coffee steel whatever we are selling let's assume in 20x1 we purchase six thousand pound at four dollar per pound life of cost is 24,000 so we're gonna have layers so we have layer one from year X1 and year X2 we purchased 8,000 pounds at five dollars forty thousand forty thousand dollar of life of cost this is layer two and X3 we purchased 11,000 pound at nine dollars ninety nine thousand dollar layer three this is layer three so this is basically inventory life it's accumulating layer over layer in 20 X4 we purchase five thousand pound at ten dollars and the life of cost is fifty five thousand times ten and this is layer four so what we've been doing over the years from x1 to x4 we've been accumulating accumulating inventory that's fine we accumulate a total of thirty thousand pounds and the life of cost is two hundred and thirteen thousand for all these layers and let's assume for the sake of illustration we sold 28,000 pounds at $15 in year X4 so in year X4 suddenly we were able to sell all this inventory and this is an extreme example but doesn't have to be a year this could be quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four it, it doesn't have to be per year I just want to show you that it's from prior period that's the point I am trying to show but this could change and prices could change from quarter to quarter that fast now if we sold the 28,000 pound at $15 and obviously we have to sell it at 15 because the most recent purchase price is 10 so we have to make a profit so let's take a look at our income statement if we do sell them at $15 actual $15 we have to the selling is 420 take 28,000 times $15 per pound S sales is 420,000 now if we're using LIFO last and first out we're gonna have to liquidate all of those and all what's, all what's left is 2,000 pound at four dollars because we have 30,000 and we had to sell 28 so now we went back and we liquidated and when we computed our cost of goods sold it happens to be 205,000 so the cost of goods sold it's the 5,000 at 10 which is 50,000 so so you know where, where we're coming from the 11,000 at 9 99,000 that's sold the 8,000 at 5 which is 40,000 that's part of the cost because we have to, to collect how many sell how many pounds 28,000 then we still need to sell 4,000 pound times 4 is 16,000 so let's first can just make sure we are doing this step by step so you understand where the figures are coming from 50,000 plus 99,000 plus 40,000 plus 16,000 and that gave us 205,000 of cost of goods sold the gross profit is 215what should you do you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional resources multiple choice true false additional lectures about LIFO liquidation LIFO reserve we're gonna look at dollar value LIFO LIFO is a little bit involved because it's not 
natural. It's not like FIFO. FIFO is what, how actually the inventory flows, the cost flows in the real world. LIFO is different. It creates problem for us. Regardless, the best investment you can make is invest in yourself, study hard, good luck, and stay safe.